And good evening. The man charged with driving through Waukesha's Christmas parade and killing six people says he wants to represent himself in court. That change is coming less than two weeks from when Daryl Brooks trial is scheduled to begin. New at five, Katie Crowther explains what it means for the case and she has reaction from the community. Daryl Brooks, the defense attorneys he doesn't want anymore, and the prosecution are all set to be back here in court this Tuesday. That's when Judge Duro will decide whether to allow Brooks to represent himself. This very well could delay the start of his trial, which is supposed to start October 3rd. People in Waukesha are disgusted. I mean, it's just going to drag things on for all these people and keep the wounds that are already massive open for much longer than they have to be. The attorneys involved are not talking. Survivors and families who lost loved ones in the parade attack have been advised not to speak publicly until the trial is over because so much is in question and at stake. But they all tell me this latest move by Brooks is beyond frustrating. Downtown Waukesha business owners are speaking up in their honor. It's so unfair. I don't think that he really realizes what he did to a lot of these people and families. I understand he has rights. But what about the people that he injured and killed? Delaying it any longer is not good for anybody. Lynn Gaffey's Almond Gallery became a safe haven the night of the parade. We, we saw the car coming and zigzagging. People ran inside for safety and a fellow artist who's also a trained EMT took action. And immediately started giving aid to one of the um, dancing grannies. So many defining Waukesha strong, a message that will soon fill this downtown mural. But they want to be able to shift that strength into healing and say Brooks is making that so difficult. It's, it's us being able to finish this, close this chapter and think about how much we've progressed and grown and how strong we are as a community. In Waukesha, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. Daryl Brooks has already been found competent to stand trial, but there's a higher standard for determining if a defendant is competent to represent themselves at trial. Local defense attorney Jonathan Lavoie says it's not only possible, but likely Brooks will be allowed to represent himself. I believe if he answers basic questions about being able to follow the rules, that he is able to understand the severity of the charges, that he understands the pros and cons of his decision. If he's able to cohesively answer the judge's questions, I think he will be found competent to be his own attorney. Tonight at 6, Ben Jordan goes in depth on Brooks' motion to be his own defense and what happens next in that process. As we near the anniversary of the tragedy, a reminder for the first time, TMJ4 is offering live coverage of this year's parade. It is set for Sunday, December 4th at 4 p.m. Now, this is a new option for the community that's endured so much. People will be able to watch the tradition where they feel most comfortable.